You know, a brilliant uh, political mind once said, without public support, you have nothing. Uh, it wasn't Donald Trump. It's <laughs> I knew you were going to invoke Donald Trump's name, okay. right? I knew you were going to do that. It was, uh, it was actually Abraham Lincoln. And um, why I'm talking about that uh, is because people have become pretty cynical, especially the younger people in our society. And worst of all, they become apolitical. They don't want to get involved in elections. We see the numbers, I think the voters' turnouts in the federal elections are about 50%. Province, it's 40% or 42% sinking. And at the municipal level, it's uh, sometimes less than 20% as it was here in Brampton. Um, we need some electoral reform. Uh, we are in the 21st century. I am a dinosaur, like Spider here, but we have these uh, online stuff like these uh, smartphones and stuff like that. In Australia, they have mandatory voting. They get a 95% turnout. We can have online voting in Canada in the next election. What kind of an electoral reform would you advocate your party bring in to bring us into the 21st century? And let's start with the NDP. Excellent question. Well, good question. Uh, Electoral reform is uh, required, it's long due, uh, rather. Uh, NDP believes in proportional representation. So uh, it, it is working in uh, Germany and uh, New Zealand. In fact, their uh, uh, turnout is uh, increased by 7%. And NDP would bring that so every Canadian is heard. What is happening in the past? Conservatives got 39% of uh, cost voting and they got 54% of member of parliaments and 100% power. Canadians are disappointed with that. So 61% didn't want the Conservatives to win, they wanted someone else. So those Canadians are not being heard, they are being disappointed, and NDP is working on uh, reform uh, to bring a change, so that next time we go for our elections, so every Canadian vote they'll be heard and they would have a role to play when uh, new laws or bills come in the parliament. So they are represented uh, by the party they have voted for. The one problem with proportional voting that some people bring up is that we'll never get anything done because we're going to have too many voices always arguing at the, uh, at the moment that we're never going to get anything done. That, that's one of the rebuttals they have with that. They say because you have to elect someone, there has to be a captain at a ship. Not everybody can be the first mate. Otherwise, when the captain says duck and everybody says what, that's when the thing comes by and knocks you over into the water. But if things are being done and being challenged in the courts, I don't think that works for Canadians. And courts are turning around the decisions were made in the parliament. That doesn't make a good impact on the uh, on international community as well as on the voters. A uh, lot of uh, 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 our uh, bills has gone to a court, uh, especially uh, for the uh, hijab. It went to a federal court, and federal court had overruled them and uh, uh, told them the individuals can wear a hijab in the uh, in the ceremony of uh, taking oath for a citizenship. If these bills were passed. Uh, with the uh, more than 50% of Canadians wanted their bill to be passed. I don't think we need to go to court. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, Raj Grewal, Liberals. I think the question was about democratic reform. And let me be clear, under the Liberal Party government on October 19th, this will be the last election under the current system. We're going to do wide consultations all across this country to ensure that we engage our citizens in the democratic process. What's happening over the past 10 years is because it's Harper's voice being pushed down into your riding. And the clear example today is that there's a table missing of his candidates. People, Canadians, you know, are feel that the political system is cynical. Like they are just so turned off about it. But Justin is inspiring Canadians through hope and hard work to get back involved in the Canadian process to ensure that your voice is heard. And that's why open, transparent government to ensure that each individual MP has an opportunity to raise its voice. Well, sorry, one last point. Justin Trudeau is the first MP that ensured all his expenses were posted online. Okay. That's leadership. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. I'm going to go. We have one more uh, final rebuttal from the Green. Mr. Carl Lacroix, please. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to point it out. The first past the post system, our majority government now, and this is what happens when we've got this. They're not here to speak. Um, uh, following to the, uh, another point, uh, 
as well getting youth involved. Uh, I'm a 23 year old. Um, if you look at the median age of everybody who's sitting here, I think I, you know, I represent the youth here. That was a big reason I decided to come out to show that youth are still wanting to get involved here. Um, another point with proportional representation, uh, the IDEA, which is the International Institute for De Democracy and Electoral Assistance, has shown that the average, uh, the, with proportional representation, uh, pro sorry, proportional representation, voter turnout is higher, and in fact, for youth, it's higher by 12% on the average for all, country, all industrialized countries. Thank you.